Hello everybody. In this video, I will discuss about the planar scabbing brushes. How to modify the brush setting and create a new brush to get a similar brush in ZBrush. In previous video, when I remesh a UV sphere to scab, I get this fixed edge UV sphere uh, instead of smooth one. Now, I will show you how to get a perfect UV sphere for scabbing. Let's delete this UV sphere and create a new one from Add Mesh menu. The planar default UV sphere is a low poly one. So when I remesh this UV sphere, I get the fixed dead one. So before remesh, I add a subdivision modifier to this low poly UV sphere. Subdivision modifier in Blender is exactly like the dynamic subdivision in ZBrush. In subdivision modifier, change level's pupil value to 3 to get a smooth UV sphere and press this arrow and press apply to apply the modifier. Then I change to scrub mode and press Shift R to preview the resolution for the remesh. Move the cursor left to reduce the resolution. Move the cursor right to increase the resolution. And press Ctrl R to remesh the UV sphere. Now I get a perfectly smooth UV sphere to scab. Now I will talk about brush settings for planar scabbing. In planar, brush settings can be found in three places. Number one is at the top menu, brush button. And number two is at the properties panel, tools button. And number three is the end panel, tools. It is called end panel because you must press end to see this panel. So I can press end to show or hide this panel. I had the end panel to change my brush setting. And I don't need this properties panel. I can change this properties panel to 3D view. Press the middle mouse button and move these two bars to the left. Change the shading to flat. By this way, I can create thumbnail previews like ZBrush. And also, I can divide this area into two. So I can view front view and left view at the same time. Now I will explain about the planar scabbing brush, which are similar to the C brush. Drag the corner of this two bar to the right to show the brush name. The first brush is draw brush. It is exactly the same as the standard brush in C brush. Press Ctrl to draw the negative value. Clay strip brush is the same as the clay builder brush in ZBrush. Scubbing in very thin area like this, the scub brush will affect the both sides. To avoid this, you can press the front face only in the brush menu. Grab brush is Exactly like the move brush in C brush. In Blender Scabbing Move, all the brush radius are linked. For example, I use the clay strip brush with small brush size and I change to grab brush and increase the brush size to work with grab brush and come back again to clay strip brush. Now the brush size is very large because I change it in grab brush. So I have to reduce the brush size again to use the clay strip brush. To avoid this, right click and turn off this setting. Now I can use the every brush with their own brush size. You can also find a brush link setting in end panel here. Elastic deform brush is like the move elastic brush in C brush. Snake hook 
it is the same as snake hook brush in ZBrush. Another important brush for scrubbing is damp standard brush. In Blender, crease brush is like damp standard brush. You need to shame some setting to get the damp standard brush. Brush strength for crease brush is very low. Increase the strength to 0.5 or 0.6 and change the fallout setting to Shaba. Now you can use the crease brush uh, like a damp standard brush in C brush. I will show you another important brush setting. Press N to open this panel and open this stroke section. Planar default stroke method is space and spacing is 10%. Spacing 10% is good in many cases, but we can decrease the spacing to get smooth line. And also we can increase the spacing to get the dotted line. Another important setting of stroke is stabilized stroke. It is exactly like the lazy mouse function in ZBrush. To control the lazy radius, adjust these two sliders, radius and feta. Let's see other stroke method in planar. We can change the stroke method from here. Dot method is almost the same as the spin method. And guys like the drag rest stroke method in ZBrush. And anchor stroke method is used with alpha. I will explain it later with alpha. Another important stroke method is line. It can be used to draw perfect straight line. To use the line stroke, drag the mouse and change the direction and release the mouse and you get a straight line. You can change the stroke method with a shortcut. Press E to change the stroke method. Now let's talk about hard surface brush. In Blender, scrap brush is like the trend dynamics brush in ZBrush. Another important hard surface brush used in ZBrush is high polish brush. There is no default brush in Blender similar to high polish brush. So we have to create a new one by our set. We can create high polish brush from this scrap brush. First, I want to change this brush name to Trim Dynamic Brush. I can change the brush name in end panel in this area. And copy this brush by pressing this duplicate icon. I change the new brush name to High Polish Brush. Change this setting to get a brush similar to High Polish Brush. Change the normal radius value to 0.2. And check the plain train check mark. Change the value to 0.2. Now you get a brush similar to High Polish Brush. These two brushes are based on scrap brush. You can switch between the brushes from here. I want to create another hard surface brush. It is plain trim brush. To create a new brush, first select the trim dynamic brush. And copy the brush and rename the new one uh, as a plain trim brush and change these settings open this advanced session and check the original normal and plain now we get the plain trim brush change brush strength to one to get more effective
Now we have three hot sappy press, trim dynamic, high polish and plain trim press. We can switch between press from here. I will create more videos like this very often. Please subscribe and like my videos. Uh, there are other brushes in planner. Uh, don't need to explain. It is mostly like the Z brush. Uh, like Snake brush, it is almost the same as the uh, Z brush. And inflate brush, it is also like the inflate brush in Z brush. And blob brush is uh, similar like inflate brush. Flatten brush and fill brush can be used in her surface cabin. You can test these brushes by yourself and use whenever necessary. In her surface cabin, this multi plane scrap brush is also very useful. It can easily create the sharp edge like this. Uh, I use this multi plane scrap brush with stabilized stroke. So I can easily create these types of sharp edge. This brush can be very useful in a survey scrubbing. Now I can smooth this area easily. I will discuss about the how to use alpha in planner in the next video. Thanks for watching the video to the end.